My name is Megan Owen. I am the Vice President of Sales and Marketing at McKinstry, a national design build firm headquartered out of Seattle, Washington. The Inflation Reduction Act is such an important evolution over the last year, year and a half for building owners all across the country because it gives a tool that I think we all wanted. We wanted cheaper financing, we wanted more uh, incentives focused in the decarbonization space, but now really with the federal government we actually have it. And so uh, what were goals that seemed to be underfunded uh, mandates that maybe didn't have solutions now have them. All across the country we have uh, campuses, we have campus portfolios, and they all have aging, failing equipment that needs to be, to be upgraded but also um, needs to be cleaner. A lot of clients, a lot of uh, partners across the industry, the first question they ask us is, what is the ITC? The ITC is an investment tax credit. It's a benefit that the government gives back onto a tax bill for certain things that they would incent. So the government wanted to incent solar development to happen all over the country, and so they created a, a tax credit that allowed you to buy down some of the first cost of what it took to put in solar arrays, solar inverters, onto a you know residential facility or a commercial property or an industrial facility. Because it you know, was a market that worked well and the mechanism worked really well for the private sector, they have since expanded it to more technologies that would be considered clean or reduce green gas emissions. And they have expanded it so that the public sector or not-for-profits can also take advantage of it. There's a very cut and dry kind of answer that solar is eligible and geothermal is eligible and battery storage is eligible and many uh, technologies that we would consider to be reducing greenhouse gas emissions and or clean technology. There's a couple caveats to that. One, costs that are ancillary or um, maybe adjacent to that those technologies may also be eligible. Engineering costs, system costs that would feed such technologies could be eligible. All of that requires a lot of engineering, a lot of analysis by tax consultants to make sure that um, there's, a, there's a solid uh, case for what would be included, but it's pretty liberal. So if you own buildings, if you are an asset owner anywhere in the built environment, you're eligible to leverage the investment tax credits. Now, how that manifests, whether it's on your personal you know, or your business tax bill, or it's through direct pay and that the government reimburses you uh, for the costs that are eligible, that's where some of the discrepancy may lie. But, um, but really, this is an open program for anyone that is a building owner to take advantage of.